Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back. I probably shouldn't even be saying this, because the last time we played this was three years ago, but I am back in Under the Sand. Now, if you don't know what this game is, it is another driving simulator, uh, but it was actually one of the first ones that came out, and I assumed it was dead because it didn't get updated for literal years. Well, it just got updated and it's been totally redone. Like the whole thing has drastically changed and it looks fantastic. It was already a decent game before, but it was very bare bones from what I can remember. Uh, so yes, now it's like a whole new game. And yes, it's another driving simulator where we have to build trucks. We have kitties. Oh, hey, little guy. Can you come with me on my adventure? Okay, he just purrs. That's kind of adorable. I hope you stay alive here because I am leaving. I don't know who's going to feed you. Hopefully you don't need food. So yeah, I am seeing that we have stuff everywhere. So we got survival uh, stuff. We'll put that in the inventory. Let's wander around before we leave because obviously there's a whole small town here uh, that we can explore. So I'm definitely not going to rush away. It looks like we got three different vehicles over there. All right, this place is open. So this is what looks to be, yes, a shop. Hello, sir. So yeah, it looks like the shop doesn't have a lot in it, but as you can see, there definitely is upgrades. So we got engine upgrades. I think the mechanics in this game are very basic, but I kind of like that. I want this to be more about a survival game. Uh, we have repair tools. Can we actually buy those? Okay, we can. I might regret that decision, but I feel like that's important. What the hell? Why? Is this where you st store your money? What the hell? Can I take this? There's like notes on them and everything. I can't actually take them, unfortunately. All right, well, I found your bank, man. Like, what? staff only. It's just, I don't get it. Why are you putting all your money in there? Do, do banks not, not exist anymore? Hello? Is there anybody here? Oh, these things are actually barren. Oh, we got gas, I think. All right, so at least that's something. But yeah, I was hoping these homes would have a little bit more in them. So yeah, it looks like it's just more or less our home and then the massive shop if we want to spend money. I don't... Okay, I was just going to say, I don't know where my money is, but yeah, I have 200. So I didn't waste a lot of that my money on that repair kit. So I'm happy with that. Uh, a lot of stuff is in my home. Oh, there's a shack over there too. All right, so yeah, this is just more car parts. Oh, we got an engine. Okay, so we do have to build these things. I think... Oh, I really, I think the smart thing would be to take the truck because it's bigger. But being that I'm a Wrangler driver in real life, when you give me a Wrangler in a game, I have to use it. So I think we're going to take the Wrangler here and hopefully we can find everything we need for that. But right now I'm going to go over to this creepy shack and see if there's anything out back that we can loot. I have to say, like, uh, the original game, it was so barren. It was literally just a desert. Now there's all these things. I hope when we start driving around, it's as alive as it is here. Because uh, if that's the case, this is going to be one of the better driving simulators, I feel like. Uh, hard to judge right now, though, because I don't even have a vehicle yet. So let's just look around. Yeah, so I don't remember the backstory, but I believe a massive flood hit. And now everything's a desert after it dried up or something like that. So I think there's just going to be a lot of rubbled homes. But yeah, as you can see, there is loot around, just not much of it. All right, so how do I fill this? Uh, open, close, and okay. So you can just click it, and it uses one out of the ten that it has. So I don't think I'm going to need the empty canisters. Um, maybe I should bring that. I, the thing is, the, the, the Wrangler is the stupidest thing because it's such a small vehicle. I'm not going to have much space for storage. But I don't care, man. I am going to enjoy myself in my little wrangler here i believe this is the hood for that and indeed it is so we have an engine uh and that is it a vroom i just realized the engine's name so we need a battery and uh i don't know what else but i'm sure we'll find it around here all right so we got a battery thor okay water tank is probably the other thing that we need so oh yeah that's right i have a bunch of stuff on me so we'll drop these things off uh looks like we have oil as well so we do have to worry about liquids uh we'll deal with that later I think, yes, this goes there. Can we open these? Yes, and then we can open that. So oil, water. I don't know if we're going to need, like, steering fluid or anything. I doubt it's that crazy. So we'll grab the Thor battery. I think that is pretty much good aside from liquids. Obviously, we have an issue, though. We don't have any wheels yet. So I think that will be the next goal, as well as looking for any other things that I missed around here. Because there's a lot to take in at the start. Usually with games like this, you're just at a shack and you just leave right away. Okay, so we got three tires here. And there's different rims, unfortunately, though. Um, can I put... Okay, I can't... You know what? I'll deal with this later. I'm just going to grab everything that I can. All right, it is turning nighttime, so let's take some intel here on what we got. We have some tires. I guess we're just going to use these ones. I was hoping to find different ones, but 
Actually, those actually look fantastic. So I only have, I have four. Okay. I don't think I have four rims though. Yeah. There's three of the same rim and I have one weird rim. So as long as this fits, I don't really care. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay. So as long as this goes on now, we are good to go. Hopefully we can find the same rim, but obviously that's not a big issue. Next up, we need some engine oil. Uh, oil zero out of five. Okay. So very simple when it comes to fluids. Uh, it's just number based. So I don't know if we can refill this, but we'll take it with us just in case. Uh, I am going to take this gas canister because I'm assuming there's going to be gas stations. Let's have a drink of water. Okay, you take sips in this game. Fantastic. So we definitely want to conserve this. I'll put my food. I am so worried. I think I'm going to lose all my stuff. I'm screwed before I even start. Oh, yeah, I should probably put water in this. Okay, so we might want to buy some water if they sell it here because this only uses three. Oh, oh, what the hell? Does he sell water before I use all this? I don't need a full water tank. I don't think, but I'd like to have one if I can. Uh, oh, there's massive water containers. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll buy one of those. Can I drink that too? I can. Cool. So I can use the water for both my vehicle and myself. All right. So we'll fill that. I wonder if I could. Oh, did I overfill it? Damn it. I didn't know I could overfill it. All right. Well, that's fine. This is good to go. We still have a little bit of money. Oh, did I? Hold on. Let me open that up. Did I close it? No, that would have been a dumb idea because I'm assuming liquids can fall out. What else do I got? Okay, I got the repair tools. So if I do break down, I'm good. I have extra water if I need it. I have gas. I have a little bit of food. I think we're ready to rock and roll here. I don't know if we should wait till tomorrow or if we should go in the middle of the night. I don't know how dark it gets. The irony is this thing's already pretty loaded. As you can see, we haven't even left yet. All right, let's uh, try this thing out. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, we got the worst headlights ever. Fantastic. I may as well just keep those things off. Save the battery. And away. Uh, that moved. Or, oh, I think we had one move, but I think they do lock into place, which is huge for me. All right. Look at me going off into the sunset. Dude, this is so cool. Oh, and is that already a, a point of interest? I did not expect that. I've played a lot of these games and usually it's minutes between at least. I think we, yeah, we already have one. I'm pretty sure this is randomly generated as well. What the hell? Okay, we're at like a military base or something. All right, let's make sure we turn off the car. Don't know how long the gas will last. Well, this is exciting, yet scary. I don't know if there's... Like, I don't know much about this game. I intentionally didn't look much up. Uh, we got some food. Good. More engine oil. Okay. I don't know if we just got really lucky with our spawn or what, but we are finding a lot of really good stuff already. All right, so yeah, not much there, but definitely some more vital supplies. I believe we can also get, like, shipments and stuff. Uh, there's supposed to be, like, merchants. I do know that. So there's a lot more to this game. I'm hoping we can find some stuff and sell it. I'm just super excited to get back out into this game because I am shocked with how different it is. I remember how basic the starting game was, and it was seriously nothing like this. It's essentially just a brand new game. Well, the road has abandoned us. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, this... I mean, should I just go off-road? I don't know. I'm assuming the goal is to stay on the road. This thing is great in the uh, rough terrain, though. I mean, it is a Wrangler after all, so yeah. I am just loving this so far. The visuals are fantastic. Is this another down helicopter? Holy crap. Okay, so... I mean, we may as well grab what we can here. Last time there was just a little bit of food. Speaking of that, I need to empty my inventory here. Because I got a bunch of crap here. All right, and are these different? What the hell? Ew. Oh, I don't even want that. What is that? Ew, you're so gross. All right, where does this go? Does this hang on the car somewhere? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we may as well take the, the rest of this gas. We can just not have to worry about gas for a while. Uh, but yeah, I am going to run out of space soon. Oh, what is that? Okay, no, that's definitely new. Uh, it's got a giant tire on it. That tells me that it's probably a shop. I mean, I didn't get much to sell unless I want to sell things that are going to help me. I think at this point, I definitely don't need any more gas. <laughs> Maybe I should sell a bit. I'll see how much it's worth because, there's yeah, I saw this guy in here. What's up, man? Sir, do you want... Actually, I would like my water. The one thing I don't need is gas. <laughs> would you... Do you want some gas, man? $27? And I am was hoping for more. I did not realize these are not fully filled. So maybe I shouldn't sell my gas. Let's also see how much gas we use because it might be a lot. Is this... Okay, we're going to open it. Do I have to turn off the engine? Is it that realistic? Okay, yeah, there we go. 
Uh, all right, so that one's empty. Maybe I didn't fully fill this thing. It might use a lot more than one gas canister. That or I'm just overflowing it and I don't even know. Is there a gauge here? There is a gauge. Okay, what am I at right now? Oh, okay. So it just takes a crap load of canisters to fill this. All right. Well, maybe I didn't have as much gas as I thought. We are still able to put some in. Oh my God. Uh, let me see. How much are we at? We are at full now. So I have been tracking it. I'm not going to throw any more in in case I do indeed overflow it. So yeah, I'm down to two canisters. That seems more realistic. So that's good. Unfortunately, I can't really sell much uh, of the rest of this because it's all things I do need. So I guess we're just going to have to move. Maybe we can see if there's anything. Okay, so at least we know there's a bunch of different rims, a bunch of different tires. The off-road tire is the one that I found. So that's 360. It'd be way too much money if I did want to buy those. But yeah, I don't need that stuff right now. What I need is a bed. I need to go find some place to sleep. So let's waste no time and continue on the roadway here. All right, what is this? We actually got a small settlement. Is there anybody here? Oh, we got cars. That's exciting. I don't have room for anything anymore. I need another seller quickly because, uh, yeah, getting a good load as you can see. What is this? It's like a camp. And looking around, didn't find much else. Just some more survival pieces. Uh, okay, we got some half-drunken cola. You know what? I'll just have that now since we need it. Ooh, a bike. I didn't even see this. Can I use this? <gasps> that would be... Ooh, cargo! Finally! Okay, so... I'm curious, though. Can I actually use this thing? I don't have any rims to try. Uh, this thing looks totally destroyed. But yeah, we have some cargo. So I'm assuming this should be worth a lot of money. Well... <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> Close enough. That's good enough for me. I am... No, I don't want to... Oh, damn it. I dropped it now. Uh... <laughs> what did I just do? How do I break everything? I... <laughs> well, my car... Well, now it's big again. What the... Damn it! What was that? Oh, God damn it. I'm just trying to figure out where to place these. You know what? I'm going to have to have them in my inventory. We'll definitely take these, though, because I'm assuming they'll be worth a lot of money. All right, if I don't find a store soon, I am going to run into problems, though. I cannot loot anymore. <laughs> I am fully loaded. Oh, uh, what is that? There's like a scrap yard here. You can't give me something new. I'm, of course, going to look. Are there any new vehicles? Yeah, it's just like a massive junkyard. Oh, yay, more gas. Okay, well, you know I'm going to take it because I can't help myself. Looks like that is it for here. No, not another village. I love how I'm getting mad that I'm finding so much loot. Can I just find someone to sell things? It is going to be a challenge to put anything more in this car. Oh, a brutal steering wheel. I'm glad I decided to stop because I was seriously considering uh, just moving on. But when you give me a brutal steering wheel, you know I have to do this. So hold L and B to detach. This should be worth a lot of money too. So we'll throw it back in our collection. Stay there. Thank you. And look at that. How badass is that? I don't know what I'm going to do now. I am... I'm going to have to put one big thing somewhere. That's the problem. You know what? What about... What about there? <laughs> oh, no. It's... It doesn't stay on the hood. All right. Stay there. Oh, is that a little house? I haven't seen a house before, I don't think. That's kind of exciting. I wonder if I can... Yes! I found a bed. I finally found a damn bed. All right. So... Just in case when I sleep, I use gas. I'm going to uh, turn this bad boy off. All right, and we'll sleep in a creepy uh, abandoned shack's bed just to uh, deal with that now. So, good night. All right, and now it's nighttime probably, so fantastic. We'll just <laughs> use the food that's here to fill myself. Dude, it's so easy to find food so far in this game. I'm assuming it gets more challenging the further you are. That or it's just a very easy game to survive in. Oh, please be it. Oh, thank God. Okay. I can finally, finally sell things. Hello, sir. You know what? I'm coming right in here because we're going to have to move a lot of this stuff if I don't. Holy. How much are these worth? Were they worth it? $100. I'm not bad, actually. And air filter. Holy. There we go. Uh, we also have the tire here. Let's just unload ourselves. Oh, yeah, we have our old air filter. Wow, that's even worth 125 Nice. Steering wheel, 100 We are almost at $1,000, and I still have a cargo, so we are going to hit $1,000, and I can probably sell a lot of these waters. Let's be honest here. We are doing totally fine, and I don't think we're going to run into too many issues. 
All right, let's turn this off. I think I might actually buy those tires since we already have two of them. It's not going to be too much money to buy the other two. So 360 each. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I didn't actually check the durability on my old ones. They're not bad. They're actually doing pretty good. So we don't have to worry about repairing them anytime soon. And we're going to detach and detach sell 120 bucks oh i'm gonna basically pay for more than one wheel just by that perfect so now we got some serious tires honestly don't know if we should have off-road tires because we're mostly on road but it looks cooler and that's the important part all right and just because i want to be pretty we may as well get my um rim that isn't the same as my other rims and sell that and then we'll buy is it this one or this one? Oh, they're all this Wait, three of them are the same, aren't they? Am I insane? So yeah, I think there's only two rims in this game. That's fine, though. I don't really care. And yeah, there we go. We have kitted our car with some decent rims. I, th I guess I can buy the strut bar. I'll have just enough for that. Sure, let's do it. And how do I install this? Oh, I'm smart. I thought a strut bar went uh, towards the suspension, not up here. So what does that do? Just reinforce it? I honestly have no idea. But if I have enough money, I'm going to get the upgrades. All right, guys, so that was a pretty good first little journey. Honestly, my biggest issue with this game is how easy it is. Um, like, <laughs> surviving is not an issue at all. And, and, and I mean, it, it is a survival game. It should be a little bit of an issue. So I don't know if the further you go, the more scarce items are or what, but I do love the game. It's visually beautiful. I just wish it was a little bit more of a challenge. So if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is Under the Sands. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little look at the new revamped version of this game. And yeah, definitely really fun. Thanks so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.